Hello, Buzzcars. My name is Halsasty, and welcome back to Baldless Factoria, where today I stand in another empty square. Last time we have built up this massive factory for blue circuits. Um, I don't think we had one delivery yet. But the blue circuits, they were basically the last ingredient that we needed here for yellow science. So let's try to guess where the line end goes. And we will try to come up with uh, this sign. For the yellow signs, yellow signs has three input materials. The blue circuits have two plus the, the liquid there. And I think I like the, the setup we had this way a battle than what we had up here, where per lane we only had two assemblers on, on each side. So even if we only manage to uh, uh, squeeze in uh, one lane in and output, that should um, be, um, that should get us more, uh, more uh, assemblers than we have in our traditional setup for uh, signs where we have eight. So I'm thinking unloading as far right as possible and then loading as far left. And maybe, maybe we can do something like this. Coming in, going out, and then we don't need to go uh, through the, the whole thing. So let's see then. I think this would be a good spot. Then um, here for the way in, there for the way out. Don't need those pieces of rails. And then. Let's have some of these. Um, yeah, we will need to get rid of uh, a bit more of this cliff here. And then we probably If let's do this differently instead of um, two unloading on each side, let's only have uh, three, but let's make them stacked filter inserters. So, and we can have this. And then have this. And and have set up like that. Okay, then. How do we get If we have something like this, and like that.
then we can have something like this. Great. And here oh. let's move all this up by two blocks. and have this then here All right and then we basically have three lanes where we pass the items through and here we need a filter insert so on this line we only pass through the items that are coming from here. Uh, so anything that goes up there, um, uh, we put in directly. And probably we want to have something like this set up. We don't want to overfill these kind of chests so that we can always have room to either put something in from here or from there because otherwise we might um, uh, stifle the, the production there. Um, and I think here and here Oh, no, that does not work. No. We need to go one more over that we can have this set up here again. And there. Oh, hmm. We need basically we need one coming from there. So I would guess we would have something like this then. And there maybe. No, here. Uh, and then have that there. Right? That goes in there, that goes in there. And then have it this way here and here and here again a filter insert okay think this pattern works Let's just Oh we need this and that. 
then let's copy this over to there, to there, to there, and so on. And then I can go about adding the assemblers on top and then we will see how far we can how far we can get with the with the loading all right let me design this uh, uh, till the end and hopefully we can then have something uh, something nice almost finished down the here only a few uh stacking so we're just missing i think uh and then we have two stations for unloading three stations for loading that should be good we need to hook up the power let's do it on this side and I think the good thing with uh, this design is uh, we have a bit of uh, uh, space here in between um, to uh, have beacons. And we can basically take this three input design and trim it down to two input one input uh, that would give us a bit more space here on the uh, inside which in turn could mean we can move the whole thing a bit closer together however i don't think because here on this side that's the tightest corner that we can do and I don't think even if uh, taking uh, two lines out uh, we can have uh, enough space saving to get uh, another set in here on top. But first, let's actually uh, take a blueprint of this. This will be our new three, three input factory. Um, version 5, I think, we have an assembly machine in there and we have a 3 in there. Right, we create the blueprint and we add it on here. And then let's see setting up the recipes. And we also need the trains. And we need to figure out the uh, unloading setup here. So basically this line and this line, the outer and the innermost line, they share a this chest to uh, uh, insert any materials. And only the middle line, that's basically directly inserting so probably here on the middle line 
we should have the one ingredient that we need the most of, which would be low density structures. Um, so let's have those in here. And then we can have the blue circuits on here and the flying robo frames on there. Yes. Um, that means we should only have this one adding flying robo frames if we have less than a stack and here um, also less than a stack but there it's uh, 200 so let's copy this and copy it over so we have the same setting everywhere right and then here same thing 200 and flying robo frame 50. That's just so that in these chests we always have space to insert things. Because we, we do not want to uh, get into a situation where an assembly machine does not do what it's supposed to do uh, just because there is no space in the uh, input chest right and then we have these ones that's the easy one here we only want to move along the flying robo frames right then same thing here on this side there okay and then let's copy all of this and paste it down here so we have all the recipes in everything that we just did there okay great so this would then be yellow science delivery copy that to here then let's add a bit of wiring to the whole thing connect all the chests And then let's figure out um, how we want to set this up. The most item we need is light density structures. Light density structures stack to 10. So one row would be 100. So that's then um, 
light density structures when we have less than 300 then send out a green signal right and then that would mean if we have less than 200 green circuits uh, blue circuits we would also have a green signal um, and that means if we have less than 100 flying rubber frames we have a green signal and if we have less than three green signals then we send out one L. So, and let's connect the output there to the input and this to here. And we want to set the train limit. Very nice. So, and let's copy this part down to here that's the that's the delivery stations and the pickup stations they are easier um we just connect these here and then have yellow signs 4000 that's half a train we have more then we send out the uh, the l 1l and we will have this all right and this is then station yellow science pickup. And copy that. Insert once. Insert twice. Um, let's actually make this that way. Um, connect it here on this side. We can get rid of uh, this. have everything nice on one side. Oh. Then here we probably also want to connect these chests. Yeah, that works. And let's, let's have one train set up here don't have more than one train on me uh, have a bit of coal in there and then we want to go to waiting waiting blue circuits 
than the blue circuits. Uh, weighting low density structures. Weighting low density and low density pickup. Then weighting flying robot frames. We don't have that. And let's go to flying robot frames directly at the station later on. Then we go to yellow science delivery. And then we go to train fueling. Train fueling, here we will just wait five seconds. Yellow science, um, empty cargo or two minutes in activity. Then Here we have item count, low density structure, 300. Um, blue science, uh, blue circuits, 200. So the same amount as we have set up for the uh, um, for the circuit network. Item count: flying robot frames. This way around. One hundred. And that should. That should do it. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Let's improve. Let's improve. Because here we can say three rows are reserved for the low density structures. So we can fit in three hundred of that. And that should do it. And then we can have one slot for the blue circuits. I only need one slot for that and two slots for the flying robo frame and block out everything else. That way we can basically prevent that we load more items than we actually uh, need here. Right, let's do it like that. Send the train on its way. And we are at the end of this episode. I will set up a few more trains, pick up the delivery. Uh, maybe we need another waiting station for the flying robot frames. And then we will see what we tackle next. Um, I am somewhat tempted to uh, rip out some of the of the factories that we have here and replace it with this uh, new layout that we have come across um, here and now that we designed in in this episode because I think that's way better than uh, what we have in the past. We can. Uh, basically 
produce way more items um, uh, than with any other setup but we will see hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did please consider leaving a like and do subscribe to not miss the next episode and i will see you then goodbye